No, I'm not going to regret my tattoos when I'm older. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be getting a tattoo uh, because I want to feel something. Bonk. I'm going to be getting something on my calf and I'm really excited about it. It's just really cute. It, it doesn't have any special meaning. I just want a new tattoo and I thought it was cute and it kind of fits the aesthetic. I like more like traditional style tattoos, maybe cartoony looking I guess. Um, so this will be my sixth tattoo so I'm going to head out. I'm going to stop and get a coffee downtown first and then go to my appointment. So wish me luck. As you have just seen I just got my newest tattoo and it is my sixth one so I don't have a lot I didn't start getting tattoos until I was 20 but I do want to show you what I do have so we are gonna do a little tattoo tour and I'm gonna start from the very beginning I got my first tattoo in May of 2018 and I'm going to show it to you so at first I was just gonna get like a little quote on my ribs something cute and my brother was like no, that's stupid. Don't do that. I'm like, okay. So I really wanted something that was My Chemical Romance themed. And I decided to go with a Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge tattoo because that's my favorite album. With my MCR tattoo, that took three and a half hours. Pain scale, I would say like a six. Like it was pretty painful, um, especially because it took so long and it was my first tattoo. The shading was probably the most painful, and then after that, like, doing the little fine details, I was like, oh my god, can we please stop? And price-wise, this one cost, with tip, $3.50, which was pretty reasonable for how long it took and how great it came out, so no complaints. <laughs> so nearly all of my tattoos I got at the same place by the same person um, at Scarab in Syracuse, New York. Um, unfortunately, my tattoo artist hasn't been doing tattoos in a while. Um, I'm still going to drop his Insta in case you want to look at his stuff. I think he's doing other stuff now. So five out of the six have been done by the same person. And then my newest one I just got was done by somebody else at Resurrected in Syracuse. I'm not from Syracuse, but I will drive somewhere to get a tattoo. So I would say my style is more American traditional cartoon style i like colors not like aggressive colors but anyway next one so my second tattoo i got in october of 2019 this was just a little tiny kingdom hearts logo behind my ear i just saw it on pinterest and i thought it was really cute and it was basic but i mean cheap maybe like 75 bucks was the minimum and it took five minutes so one one out of ten on pain nothing painful Later that month, I got this tattoo. This also took three and a half hours. And this wasn't anything meaningful. I just really wanted a skull and a snake with a dagger. So this is more traditional. Pain scale was probably like a five or less. Like at that point I was getting used to it and there wasn't a lot of shading. It was a lot of fine lines. So not too bad. So the next tattoos I got done was in March of 2021 because I couldn't get any during COVID and I got them both done on the same day. They were really simple so they didn't take too long. Starting with my Lisa Simpson tattoo. So I'm a big Simpsons fan. Um, Lisa's probably my favorite character just because I feel like I can relate to her more. And Summer of Four Foot Two is one of my favorite episodes. 
so I had to get cool Lisa and this tattoo didn't hurt at all I think it took maybe like 30 minutes to get done like it was really quick because it's just a cartoon and price wise it was a combined price of this with my next tattoo um, of like 250 I think so it really wasn't that bad so along with the Lisa one I got the tattoo of my two dogs Lucy and Tango together so in 2020 my beagle passed away and that's Lucy and that was really tough for me so I really wanted to like memorialize her and be able to bring her around with me everywhere I went so I got a tattoo of her and I decided that she couldn't be alone and her and Tango were BFFs so I wanted a tattoo of both of them and I kind of sketched this out myself and I'll show you the sketch I still have it on my notes app and I drew it out as well it's her she's kind of like what we used to call sitting pretty and she's got like her arms up and it's just the way that she used to do her tricks and then with Tango, he's got his little broken ear. And I just really wanted them together. I wanted it to be a really cute little cartoon tattoo. And I love how it came out. The colors are perfect. I just, it was really perfect for me. So this tattoo actually means a lot to me. And I'm glad I have her around on my ankle at all times. Tango's still alive, by the way. I just wanted him there too, <laughs> so. And then finally, after a year, I got this new tattoo which you saw the process just now. Um, this has no meaning. I saw like little artworks on Pinterest and I found out that actually it's a Sailor Man Jerry tattoo. I had no idea. I just saw, oh, cute little like burlesque woman in a martini glass. And my tattoo artist actually told me that it's his style and people have been ripping it off for years, but she put her own spin on it. Like I kind of just sent her this picture and she did it up to her own standards and I had no complaints I said perfect let's go for it and I think it took about an hour and a half this was a pretty expensive too I think with tip also 350 so I've spent about the same on each set of tattoos but I don't have any complaints and they're worth it and no I'm not going to regret my tattoos when I'm older I don't know what it is with old people but they seem to think that like you choosing to put something permanent on your body you're gonna regret it like no these aren't crappy back alley tattoos like they're actually well done and they're things that I like so no like we're all gonna die someday just enjoy it put whatever you want on your body like who cares so stop making that comment all old people so this has been my tattoo tour and tattoo vlog I really don't want to use that word anymore but thanks so much for watching and make sure you like and subscribe before you leave follow me on social media Drop a comment down below what tattoos you've got or what I should get next. I don't have anything up here yet. So that's a plan in the future, much to my mother's dismay. I will get tattoos everywhere at some point. So send me some ideas. So thanks and I will see you next time.